Hello, welcome to Soft Papers YouTube channel. In this video, I am solving mathematics paper uh, from Cambridge Primary Checkpoint. I'm solving paper one of uh, October 2017. Um, always take time to read the instructions uh, in an examination situation. Uh, you can see this paper, no calculators allowed. Uh, total mark for this paper is uh, 40. Uh, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please uh, click the subscribe button below and hit the bell icon. Uh, this way you will be notified every time I upload uh, the video I am currently working on. Uh, that out of the way, let us begin. Question number one. Calculate um, 406, take away uh, 398. Um, you write 406, you take away 398 there. Um, of course, uh, this will give us 8. Uh, we have 9 here. 9 minus 9 uh, is 0. 3 minus uh, 3 is 0. So our answer uh, is right, uh, is 8 right there. Question number 2. Write for, uh, 647 uh, rounded to nearest, uh, nearest 10. Uh, of course, um, when you write a 6, 4, 7, this is place of units. This is place of tens. This is place of uh, hundreds. Because I know you know that. Therefore, uh, 647 rounded off to nearest 10 uh, will be equivalent to, of course, six is, uh, 7 is greater than 5. Therefore, we round it off to the next number. So the number becomes 650. So 650 is our answer. Question number three. Uh, the table shows uh, the number of people visiting a cinema over four days, right? Monday to Thursday, a uh, different number of people uh, right there you can see. Uh, calculate the total number of people who visited the cinema over the four days. Uh, total number, total uh, tells you that you need to do the addition uh, of all the people on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So on Monday, uh, 426 people. Um, on Tuesday, uh, 765. When you add the sum of this, uh, 5 uh, plus 6 gives you 11, carry 1. Uh, 2, 6, 2 plus 6 plus 1 gives you 9. Uh, 4 plus 7 gives you 11. This you add to uh, people on Wednesday, 6.32. I uh, went to the cinema on Wednesday. 2 plus 2 gives us 3. 9 plus 3 gives us 12. Carry 1, 2. Um, 1 plus 6 plus 1 gives us uh, eight. Uh, you have one right there. Uh, you add people went on to the cinema on Thursday. Uh, 567 people went to the cinema on Thursday. You want that, of course, three plus seven uh, gives us ten. Carry one, zero, carry one. Uh, six uh, plus two plus one gives us nine. Um, eight plus five gives us thirteen. Right, th uh, sorry. Uh, write 3 there, carry 1, uh, 1 plus 1 gives us 22. So 2,390 people went to the cinema. Uh, 3, 2, and, uh, 2,390 people uh, visited the cinema. Question number 4. Here is a rectangle drawn on a centimeter square grid. On a centimeter square grid, meaning from here to here. Uh, this distance here is equivalent to one centimeter. Uh, find the perimeter of the rectangle. Um, 
the sides of the rectangles are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So these are 5 centimeters. Uh, the other side is 1, 2, 3. This side is 3 centimeters. Uh, a rectangle has got opposite sides equal 5 centimeters and 3 centimeters. Perimeter, you add all the sides. 5 plus 3 plus 5 plus 3. Uh, you get a total of 16. Perimeter of this triangle is 16 uh, centimeters. Question number 5. Question number 5. Uh, draw a ring. Draw a ring. Uh, around two numbers that total to 100. Um, of course, we have 34. Uh, we have... Um, 36, 43, uh, 56, 64, and 67. You choose two numbers. Um, of course, uh, it's up to you now to know how you're going to do this. I'll go with 36 plus 64. Uh, this will give me 100. So I will draw a ring around 36. Another ring around... Um, 64 right there uh, when I check nicely there's no other there's no other numbers uh, which total to 100 for example if you pick um, this number and uh, let's say uh, this number uh, 56 plus 34 this will only give us 90 so no other number uh, 36 and 64 uh, the only two numbers that sum up uh, to a hundred. Question number six. Um, the Venn diagram shows the number of children in class four that play uh, piano and uh, guitar. How many children in class four play guitar? Uh, the children that play guitar um, in this oval, so we have uh, three uh, that play both piano and guitar. Therefore, the number of children that play guitar is three plus six, which gives us nine. So nine children uh, play guitar in class four. Uh, number seven, num uh, part B, sorry. Um, how many children are in class four? Um, the number of children in class four, um, all the children included in the rectangle. Uh, we have six, uh, 12, uh, sorry, 12 children that play neither piano or guitar. We have seven um, children that play piano. Uh, we have three that play both piano and guitar. We have six children that play uh, guitar only. So um, the total number of children in class four, we sum up all the uh, children. Um, in this, both those who play and those who do not play. When you do that, you do your math right, uh, you're going to get a total of 28. So 28 children are uh, in class uh, class 4. Okay? 28 children are in class, class 4. Question number 7. Oliver chooses three digits. For his lock, uh, he uses uh, digit seven, six, and three once. Um, list all the three digit numbers he could choose. Write them in order, uh, starting from the largest to the smallest. Uh, you can only use either of these numbers in the three digit number once. For example, uh, he's not allowed to write a number like, like this. Uh, this is a three digit number. But 6 has been used twice. So this not allowed. Not allowed. So he only needs to use each of these numbers, 7, uh, 6, uh, 3, uh, once. So the largest number that he can come up with, the largest three-digit number that he can come up with using these uh, three digits, 7, 6, and 3 is 7, uh, 63. Um, the next number... Uh, should be 736 followed by 6 
uh, 73, uh, followed by uh, 6, 37. Um, next should be 3, 76. And lastly, should be 3, uh, 67. So the largest number is 3, uh, 763. Smallest number is uh, 6, 367. Question number eight. We are taught uh, Yusef uh, sees a clock in a mirror. So what you are seeing here, this is a reflection of uh, the clock. Okay, in a mirror. What is the time on the clock? Time on the clock uh, that you see on the mirror. Of course, we know uh, the smaller, uh, the shorter arm. Uh, because that stands for time. The longer arm, um, this stands for minutes. The shorter arm stands for hours or for the hour. And therefore, from this, you can see this is 6 and this is 9. Of course, uh, there should be 7 here. There should be 8 uh, right there. So, um, the time should be uh, 7, um, whether a.m. or p.m. Uh, then the time, of course, the minutes when there are the minutes and is on the three is 15. So this is supposed to be 715. 715. Uh, question number nine. Write the missing number in each box. Um, we are told that in this box right here, should have 100 more than 924. And to find out that, you only take 924 plus 100 more. So this should be 4, 2, and 10. So this box should have 10, uh, 24. Uh, part B, the missing um, number, we are told that um, 20,140 is 1,000 more than the number uh, supposed to be there. So uh, we write 20,140. We take away 1,000 uh, to reduce it by 1,000 because it is 1,000 more. Uh, therefore, this should be 0, 4, um, 1. This should be 9. And then this should be 1. So the number right here should be 19,140. So the missing numbers in the box. Number 10. Uh, we're told a crate holds 25 bottles. How many crates are there? Sorry, how many crates are needed to hold uh, one of six uh, crates, uh, bottles? Um, this needs us to do division. So we have 106 bottles. We want to put them in uh, crate and each crate holds 25 of these bottles. Uh, so, um, um, how many crates do we need? Uh, four will give us 100. Uh, so, right there, we'll have a balance of six bottles when we put, when we have four crates. And therefore, we need a total of five crates for us to fit all the bottles. So, uh, the number of crates required will be uh, five. Um, number 11, uh, Mia and Safia uses some meter sticks uh, to measure the height of a classroom door. It takes two and a quarter meter sticks, right? Write the height of the door in meters using the decimal point, two and a quarter. A quarter is basically one and four, uh, we are supposed to use a decimal point. Uh, one, um, a quarter, one over four is 0 0.25. So therefore, uh, two meters and uh, 2.5. Two meters, 2.5, 0.2.5. So two right there and 2.5 uh, in that place. 
Question number 12. Carlos cuts a melon into eight uh, equal slices. He gives five slices to his friends. What fraction of melon does he have left? So um, he has got eight uh, slices. Uh, he has eight slices and he gives out uh, five to his friends. So how many is he remaining with? How many slices is he remaining with? We uh, take away five from eight and this will mean he's remaining with eight slices. So what fraction? Fraction of the melon does he have left? So the fraction will be three uh, remaining divided by uh, the total number that he had originally, which was eight slices. So the fraction would be three over eight. Uh, question number 13. Pierre and Mike have papers, have paper planes. You can see they are play right there. Uh, Pierre uh, plane uh, flies 3.8 uh, meters. Uh, Mike's pl plane, uh, paper plane flies 1.5 meters further. How far does Mike's uh, plane fly? Uh, Pierre uh, plane uh, flies 3.8 uh, meters and Mike uh, plane goes 1.5 meters further. So you heard and uh, what you're going to be getting is um, I uh, can do this one and long division and long addition um, uh, plus 1.5 for you to be able to see clearly. So uh, 8 plus 5 gives us 13. Carry 1. Uh, 3 plus 1. 4 plus 1. 5. So uh, Mike's plane flies uh, 5.3 uh, meters. Um, it's great that you're watching this video. But remember, I always remind my students, uh, practice. Practice uh, makes perfect. Makes perfect. You get to learn how to solve these questions when you practice them yourself. So I encourage you to practice working out uh, the questions um, yourself. As I guide you, uh, you may get this same paper that I am solving right now uh, from this website, uh, solvedpapers.co.uk uh, slash checkpoint. Uh, of course, I need you to go to uh, the primary uh, tab and um, you're going to find a green link there. Click that and it will take you to uh, the page where you can purchase uh, these papers. Uh, just um, costing uh, less than six uh, pounds. That is uh, something that you can be able to afford and uh, also support this great work we are doing to help you guys uh, get your um, uh, awesome grades. Uh, very well. Um, Question number 14. Question number 14. Draw a ring around the number which is uh, two more than minus 25. Two more. Right? So um, to get two more, you need to add two to uh, minus 25. So we'll have um, minus 25. Minus 25 plus 2. Uh, minus 25 plus 2 will give you minus 23. So you're supposed to draw a ring. So don't forget that. Or you ring uh, that minus 2, uh, 3 uh, over there. Question number 15. Here is a scale showing the mass of bananas. Of course, you have a scale. Show you the mass of bananas. What is the mass of the bananas? Or what this question uh, requires you to do is to be able to read the scale uh, correctly. Um, the scale is from 0 
to uh, to two. Uh, of course, you can see the pointer is beyond uh, one, so uh, it can be comfortable to know uh, this is going to be one more than one kilogram. But what are the small divisions in the scale stand for? So, for example, from zero to one, we have uh, we can count together one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 small divisions. So each division represents uh, point 0.1. Therefore, um, the scale, uh, the pointer is um, past 1, but it is between the first and the second points there. So that's uh, how to be 1.15 kilograms. 1.5, 1.15 kilograms. Very well. Um, question number 16. Question number 16. This is a 24-hour digital clock. Shall we? A uh, time of 23.37. Uh, uh, what did the clock show to uh, and a half hours earlier? Two and a half hours earlier. Uh, so um, to get uh, to that, this is best and requires you to uh, to do subtraction uh, or to take away two hours from 23.37. So two hours and a half, okay, two 30 minutes. You take away from the time, the current time. Uh, so this will give you um, 21. So it's going to be 21.07. Uh, very well. Um, part B. What will the clock show 45 minutes uh, later? Um, of course, you need to now add 45 minutes uh, to the time the clock is showing. So you have your 23.37. Uh, uh, plus your 45 minutes right there. Uh, so you'll have uh, 7 plus 5 gives us 12, 2, carry 1. Um, uh, 3 plus 4 plus 1 gives us 8. Um, of course, 8 minus 6, uh, this will give us 2, carry 1. Therefore, this will give us um, 24, of course. When you are uh, writing it in 24 hours, 24 is equivalent of 0, 0 uh, to 2. So the a clock will be showing 0, 0 to 2 hours. 0, 0 to 2 hours is midnight, 22 minutes past uh, midnight. Question number 17. The graph shows information about the number of people in six different cars. I have a graph, the number of cars and the number of people in each car. Um, the question is, um, what is the amount of the people in a car? Okay. Um, the word mod uh, means the number means the number that is repeated um, more often more often than the others. And um, from this graph, uh, you can see that the mod is um, the one uh, that is uh, having uh, the greatest number of people. So what is the amount of people in a car? So the mod is 3. 3 is the one which is uh, having a great number of cars. So a great number of cars have got... Um, uh, three, uh, three people. So, 
uh, the month is three. Uh, part B, how many cars, how many cars um, have more than three people in them? How many cars have got more than uh, four people in them? Uh, of course, uh, more than three people in them. Uh, so um, we come um, here uh, at um, number of people in a car well, that is greater than three is four and five. So the number of cars that have got four people are 10. You can see uh, from there. So we have 10 cars that have got more than four people. And I mean that I've got four people and the number of cars that I've got five people you come you rise up there you find it is four here so uh, the number of cars that I've got uh, more than three people uh, the sum of 10 and 4 which will give us 14 so the answer here is 14 question number 18 Jamila says I am thinking of two digit number, two digit number, square number. It is a two digit number, it is a square number. Square number is when you multiply uh, the number, when you square the number, the sum of the two digits is nine, right? <clears throat> Let's find this two digit, num uh, two digit number uh, by finding which two numbers we do we need to add to get nine. So we know we can add eight plus one get 9, we can add 7 plus 2, get 9, we can add 6 plus uh, 3, uh, to get 9, we can add 5 plus 4, to get uh, 9. So which of these two uh, digits uh, can they have, can they form uh, a square number, alright? Um, 8 and um, 8 and 1, can they form a square number? 8 and 1, is there a number that you can multiply uh, to get uh, 8 to 1? And the answer is yes, you can multiply 9 times 9 to get 8 to 1. So 8 to 1 is a square number. Uh, 72, is there a number that you can multiply to get 72? Uh, the answer is no. Uh, what about 63? The answer, uh, likewise, no. What about 36? Yeah, the answer is yes. You can multiply 6 times 6 to get 36. What about 54? The answer is no. What about 45? Uh, the answer is no. So, which square number um, could Jamila be thinking of? So, Jamila could be thinking of number 36. She could also be uh, thinking of uh, number 81. Question number 19. Draw a ring. Draw a ring around the fraction that is given in its simplest form. A fraction that you cannot simplify any further. Uh, can you simplify this uh, 8 um, um, 4 over 8, yes, you can divide by 2 to get 2 over 4. You can also divide this one by 2 to get 1 over uh, 2. You can simplify that. What about eight? Uh, 6 over 8? Yes, you can divide uh, 6 by 2 to get 3. You can divide this one by 2 to get 4. You can also simplify it further. Can you simplify this 3 quarters and further? No. So, <clears throat> what about 9 divided by 12? Yes. Divide 9 by 3, you get 3. Divide 12 by 3, you get 4. What about this one? Yes, you can uh, simplify this one further. Divide 2 by 2, you get 1. Divide 8 by 2, you get 4. So the one that you cannot simplify further is uh, 3 quarters. Number 20. And you click. Uh, J click can run twice as fast as Blessy. Bless runs a race in 3 minutes and um, 16 seconds. Um, can rub this. Uh, 3 minutes, 16 seconds. 
and um, uh, therefore uh, how fast will how long will a jackling uh, take so a jackling will take half of the time uh, that was taken by blessy so half of um, uh, three minutes uh, this would be um, one minute and uh, one minute and uh, uh, 30 seconds um, what about 16 seconds half of 16 seconds um, that is uh, half of 16 seconds this will be um, uh, eight uh, seconds so you add these times together so um, when you sum up this time uh, what you're going to get is one minute and 38 uh, seconds that's how fast uh, bless is going to uh, to run so um, your bless uh, a jet click uh, will take one minute uh, 38 uh, seconds question number 21 Rajiv has a bag with 10 green um, and uh, six red balls he adds uh, three more green uh, balls to the bag how many red balls must he add to make the probability of picking a green or a red ball equally uh, likely uh, equally likely an equal probability uh, so basically uh, you need to have an equal number of green uh, balls to the red balls so how many green balls does uh, Rajiv have in the bag initially he had 10 balls which are green and he adds uh, three uh, more green balls he has a total of 13 uh, green balls uh, 13 green balls in the bag um, he has uh, six um, red balls so what must he add um, how many red balls must he add to get a total of 13 balls and therefore of course uh, x is right there so x is going to be equal to 13 minus 6 and um, uh, this is going to give us uh, uh, 7 balls so uh, Rajiv must have a uh, 7 add more 7 ball, uh, red balls uh, so that he has uh, 13 green balls and uh, seven, uh, 13 uh, red balls so that the probability of picking either green ball or red ball is uh, the same equally uh, likely question 22 question 22 complete the diagram so that each line totals uh, 10 of course uh, you give one is done for us here uh, 2.9 2.9 um, plus uh, 2.9 plus 7.1 equals 10 okay therefore um, uh, to solve the rest you just take away um, the number like here we take away uh, 3.5 uh, to get what num uh, what number should be here uh, 3.5 from 10 so this would be 5 uh, you are left with 9 here so 9 minus 3 gives us 6 so right here we have uh, 6.5 uh, we have 6.5 um, the next one is uh, 10 take away 6.3 to find what number should be here uh, so this is going to be 7 uh, 9 minus take away 6 is 3 so here we have 3.7 uh, the last one uh, 10 take away 4.8 uh, of course this is going to be 2 uh, 9 minus 4 uh, gives us 5 so this is going to be 5.2 uh, uh, right there question number 23 uh, draw uh, the reflection of the shape in the mirror mirror line because to do that uh, you need to join um, this point 
uh, through the mirror line so that it uh, joins at an angle of 90. You continue it until you get to that point there. This other one should also join the mirror line at an angle of 90. Continue it uh, to get you there. Uh, then, of course, um, the number of squares from this point to this end will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you count 5 squares, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the other point will be there. Then uh, on this other end, it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, you'll have 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it will be right there. So you join these two lines. I uh, hope I can do that uh, with a straight line. Join these points. the points there you are that is the reflection of that shape uh, in the mirror line of course uh, you can see this is the mirror line and um, we've got our shape question number 24 uh, calculate the difference between double 27 and half of 90 uh, 96 double 27 double 27 basically means um, 27 uh, two times 27 plus 27 or you can do 27 times 2 uh, this will give you 54 and um, half of 96 uh, basically uh, 96 divided by 2 this will give us 4 for 8 uh, the difference will be 1 you bring down a 6 uh, so what number do you multiply 2 by to get 6 16 8 so you have 16 there uh, so uh, the difference the difference is a uh, take away so 54 take away 48 which is uh, half of 96 and uh, of course when you do that I can do it um, can do it in the in the long uh, div uh, take away take away 48 when you do this of course 14 take away 8 will give us 6 and uh, we remain with 4 here uh, 4 take away 4 will give us 0 so the answer should be 6 Question number 25. Here are some number uh, sentences. Uh, write true if the number sentence is correct. Write false if not correct. The first one has to be done for you. Uh, of course, um, <clears throat> when you do 6.25 times 10 gives you 62.5. Uh, that is correct. It's be done for you. It's written true. Uh, 6, uh, 25, divide by 10, this gives us 62.5, uh, but the answer you are given here is 6.25, so this is uh, definitely false. Um, 0 0.625, uh, when we multiply this by 100, uh, this gives us 62.5. The answer given here is 600 and 625. Definitely, likewise, that is false. Um, we have 6,250. We divide by 100. Uh, when we do that, uh, the answer is supposed to get is 62.5. And the same answer we got here. So this one is true. Question number 26, uh, write the next three terms in the sequence. The sequence continues in the same way, all right? So uh, what is happening to this sequence? Uh, from 2.6 to 2.3, there is a decrease. Uh, there is a decrease of 0 0.3. From 
uh, 3 to 2, there's a decrease of 2.0.3. So likewise, we take away um, 0 0.3 from 2. So take away uh, 0 0.3 from 2. So this will give us 7.1. So what we got here is 1.7. We also take away uh, 0 0.3 from uh, 1.7, what we remain with is 1.4. We write 1.4 there. We take away again uh, 0 0.3. Remember, the sequence continues the same way. What we have here is 1.1. Therefore, we write 1.1 uh, right there. And our next three terms in the sequence are um, done. Question number 27, um, draw a ring around each multiplication that gives the answer uh, 3,600, um, 3,600. Of course, um, when you multiply 20 uh, by 1,800, what you get is 36 thousand that multiplication gives us that uh, what does this one give us 60 times 60 60 times 6 gives us 3600 what does this one give us um, this gives us uh, uh, 4 times 9 36 uh, but 36,000 uh, the last one should give us a uh, uh, 36 um, hundred as well. So um, we draw a ring around that. We draw another ring round about that. And that's good. Get that one mark right there. Question 28. Write these numbers. Write these numbers in order. Starting with the smallest Starting with the smallest, of course, we have 2.35, 2.95, 2.06, 2.6, 2.4. Uh, the smallest is this one here, the smallest, uh, 2.06, uh, followed by uh, 2.35, followed by 2.4, zero this one here so this is number one number two number three number four and lastly the greatest is this number five uh, so 2.26 and then 2.95 you are free to add a zero here to make all the numbers um, of the same number of decimal places um, but it's not a requirement uh, question number 29 question number 29 here is a number line four numbers are equally spaced on the number line um, fill the missing numbers you must show your working right to fill the um, missing numbers we first get the range uh, the range is the difference between the greatest number, which is 130, and the smallest number, which is uh, which is uh, 85. So um, I like I uh, prefer write it uh, this way for you to see how we we are doing this. So 85. So 85 take away. Uh, I mean 130 take away 85. This gives us five. Uh, this is 2, so 12 minus 8 uh, gives us uh, 4. So the range is 45. So uh, this range is divided in equal um, in equal spacing. Don't forget. So um, what are these equal spaces? How many spaces do we have here? We have space number 1, space number 2, and space number 3. Therefore, we take our range which is 45 and we divide it by uh, by 3 
uh, I prefer to do the long division. Uh, divide by 3. And this will give us a 3 there. Uh, give us 15. So 5 to give us 15. Uh, so uh, 15. So then uh, we add, um, starting from the um, left, we have 8 to 5. 8 to 5 plus 15, because each space is 15, uh, this will get us into uh, 100. So this number here in this box is 100. So uh, we have also 100 plus uh, 15. This will give us 115. So this number here is 115. And to confirm this, you can take one, uh, 115 plus 15. Uh, this should give us 130, which is shown uh, right there. Now question 30. Here are the diagrams of five quadrilaterals on a grid. Okay. Um, we have quadrilateral M, B, C, D, and E. Okay. Um, what is the question here? The question is, use each of the letter ones, only ones, to complete the table. Uh, the shape, you're going to write the letter of the shape here. Then the description is given on the uh, right. An irregular quadrilateral with four right angles. Um, irregular, irregular quadrilateral with um, four right angles. And uh, what should that, which should that be? Um, I am only seeing uh, E. Why is E irregular? Because it has got uneven sides. This side here is not the same as that side there. Um, next, a quadrilateral with no parallel sides. Uh, that happens to be D. No side is parallel to another side here in D. Um, next, a quadrilateral with only one pair of parallel um, sides. And um, that happens to be one pair. One pair. You can see uh, this side here is parallel to this side here. But when you look at C, uh, C has got two pairs. This side is parallel to this side. And this side is parallel to this side. So it cannot be C. It can only be A. Then uh, next... Uh, a regular quadrilateral. Regular, all the sides are equal. So that happens to be B, which is a square. And then lastly, um, lastly, uh, we have um, a C remaining here. So we can just write C here. A quadrilateral with two pairs of parallel sides, but no perpendicular sides. Perpendicular is an angle of 90. So we can see C. It's got two pairs of parallel sides, but none of the angle is 90. None of the angle is making an angle of 90. All right there. Okay. Question 31. Use the fact that 7 times 9 uh, will give us 64 to complete the diagram. Right. Uh, you're given here 63 divided by 9 is 7. Of course, it starts off from 7 times 9 is 63. Uh, therefore, um, what number should we have here so that when you divide it by 70, gives us a, gives us 0 0.9. And I suppose that number is going to be 63. Of course, um, you can also uh, confirm this by writing uh, 70. Uh, multiplied by 0 0.9 this will give you um, this will be the same as um, um, uh, 63 uh, right there uh, what about here 0 0.7 times a number here will give us 63 I suppose that number is going to be 90 how do I know that um, 0 0.7 times 90 
is the same as uh, 7 times 9, which is equals to 63. Um, here, 0 0.9 times um, 0 0.9 times 7, of course, uh, this is going to give us 6.3. Because 9 times 3, uh, 9 times 7 is 63. And since it is in decimal point, then that basically means 6.3 is what you get when you multiply 0 0.9 times uh, 7. Lastly, question number 32. Uh, draw a ring. Draw a ring around the number which is a half, which is half between um, a half and uh, three quarters. Um, of course, you can find out by simplify these numbers and nine and sixteen. Um, that cannot be simplified. Um, and therefore, this is uh, quite smaller. I uh, can also change um, these numbers to decimal point. Um, a half is equal to 0 0.5. Um, three quarters, this is 0 0.75. Therefore, we can try and see uh, when you divide um, when you divide 9 by 16, what do we get? Put a point there, then this is a 90. So what do we multiply, which number do we multiply by 16 to get 90? Uh, we multiply by uh, 5. Uh, when you multiply by 5, we get 90. So uh, this is going to give us, um, uh, that is 16 times 5. This is 30, carry 5, this is 80, not uh, 90. So this is, uh, this is 80. Okay, um, therefore this is going to be, uh, this is going to be uh, 1, 0, and then of course uh, 16 times 6, that will give us 96, so this is going to be 6, going to be 96, uh, giving us 4, alright? So basically uh, this is greater than, uh, this is greater than 0 0.5. Uh, go to 2, to divide by 3, uh, 0, 20, this is going to be 6, uh, this is 18, uh, 2, uh, another 6 there, it's going to be 18 and so on and so forth, right? So this one likewise is greater than 0 0.5, um, go to 3, uh, divide by 8, uh, point there, so this is going to be 3, uh, for 24 uh, over there, uh, there's going to be 6, uh, 60 there. Um, seven, uh, 8 times uh, 6 gives us um, whatever number. Uh, 40, 48, um, that will give us uh, 56. So um, it's going to be 7 uh, for 56 so on and so forth. Uh, so this is less, uh, this is less than 0 0.5. Um, therefore, um, <clears throat> we go to 5 divided by 8, uh, 0, 5 divided by 8, uh, this gives us uh, uh, like 6. Um, uh, for 48, uh, for 48 we get 2, uh, this gives us um, uh, 2 for 16, I get 4 and so on and so forth. So you can now see this number is greater than 0 0.62. So we are to draw a ring around the number which is half between um, 0 0.5 and uh, 0 point, um, to 0 0.75 and that number happens to be uh, this 0 0.6 uh, 0 0.62 0 0.62 is between uh, 0 0.5 and 0 0.75 
0.75. Of course, uh, these other numbers, um, these are the these are the numbers 0 0.56, um, so on and so forth. So, um, so if you take um, uh, 0 0.5, which is a half, plus 0 0.75, you add them up, you have tried to find which number is halfway, uh, you'll get um, uh, 2.1. So 1.25 divided by 2 to get enough number, so it will be 0 0.6 for 1.2, uh, which will be, um, here will be 5, uh, then we have, um, of course, 2 for 4, which is 1. Alright, so 0 0.2, 0 0.62 is a half of, um, uh, is half between 0 0.5 and 0 0.75 so there is the answer that's it guys for this paper i hope uh, you will find uh, this video useful um savoy said all the videos in this uh, soft paper youtube channel offers clear step by step uh, soft examination questions to help boost the confidence of the learner um Hope to see you in the next video. Um, cheers and thanks.